Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Practice slow to perform fast. This came up in a, uh, this came up with a student. It comes up with a student a lot, especially the younger kids, but this was a comeback player, and he had a very unique set of, um, talents and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it, it applies to everybody right up to Maurice Andre. Okay. So uh, let me honk and play the note and let's see what we got. And we'll talk about practice slow to perform fast. Hellacious ease above double C. No warm up. Got caught a little short with the breath in that uh, trying to put a couple phrases together. Everything's right there. Okay. Practice slow to perform fast. Now, this is an equation I've used with all of my kids, all state, everything. But I told you I have a comeback player. I'm not going to use his name. Uh, very, very bright guy. I mean, he's a doctor. Okay. Very, very bright, successful family. His daughter is going to take over his practice when he retires and his father, his son's selling real estate. I mean, very, very, uh, smart, intelligent, successful family. And he played trumpet when he was young. Now that he's easing into retirement, he thought he'd like to honk a few notes. Well, he always had trouble with his chops, blah, blah, blah. He stumbled over my channel. You get the whole idea. All right? But here's the deal. He bought the 1SB, and he's going with it. Now, this is a very, very unique situation in that his chops are far out exceeding his musicality. Okay? Now, he's got almost daily high Fs within the context of a scale and all that sort of stuff. He doesn't even know all his scales. We have to go over to make sure, okay, key of, key of D, we've got an F sharp and a C sharp, right? Okay, now you're going up the octave, so you, you use the different fingering on D. I mean, this is what we're talking about. <clears throat> so anyway, his chops popping, he's not overblowing. E's and F's, E flat, no problem. Okay? So anyway, we um, all we've been doing is scales, arpeggios. Arpeggios with, you know, with the false fingering, uh, G, B, D, G, all first and third. You know, make the music as simple as possible. But all of a sudden, as I said, his, his chops are killing it, and the musicality is still falling behind. So we, I want to do something other than just scales all the time. So I said, you know what? Get a trumpeter's lullaby. Nothing there you can't play, blah, blah. And he takes one look at it and he says, I don't know, man, that, that looks like a lot of, look, this is what you do. And I said, trust me, to a different degree, this is exactly what Maurice Andre does. I know this for a fact. We went over this with Jerry, okay? Now, what we do is this, two measures at a time, tops, okay? You cut them down to the smallest component that you get, and you nail that component nice and slow, okay? Now, tell me the notes, tell me what the notes are, and finger them while you're playing them. 
D, B, 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 D, B, G. That's it. That's it. Stop there. It would have been very awkward to start, stop, bottom, bop, 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 bop. Okay? So we do two measures. Okay? Now play it. Bottom, da, 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 da. No faster than that. Okay? Okay, I didn't like the slur. Okay? Spit buzz the phrase for me. Okay? Go back and play it again. Eureka. It sounds perfect. Absolutely perfect. Remember, he's got terrific chops at this point. Beautiful tone. Beautiful articulation. It's just too slow. And we'll get to back, back to that in a minute. Okay. Play it again. No faster than that. D, re, C, 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 re, C, sol. All right? Okay, second measure. Tell me the notes and finger them. A, 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 C, A, F sharp, G. Okay? Let me hear it. Okay. The A to C got a little stuck in the mud. I'm just... Okay? Spit buzz it. Okay? Play it. It comes out beautifully. Okay? Put the two measures together. Four measures. He played it perfectly with a beautiful sound as good as Doc Severinsen or Doc Schutzer or anybody, just slower. Now, here's the deal. When Del Stegers or Doc Schutzer or Nakariakoff or anybody is knocking off the Carnival of Venice, trust me, they are not thinking note per note. They're not thinking. C, B, B, A, G. No, they're not thinking that. The mind just doesn't work that fast. If they are using music at all, it is all muscle memory. If they're using music, that will be a guide, but they are not thinking note to note. They're just not. Okay? You, now, what they are doing, they're relying on the muscle memory. Remember, they're just holding the horn and move, moving their fingers. That is what you have to get, the muscle memory. And if you do that, we got through two lines of um, trumpet, Trumpeter's Lullaby in a half hour less, along with scales and arpeggios and chop work and all that sort of stuff, and just kibitzing. He's a very nice guy. Um, now, you're not even going to notice it. if you for Don't let yourself go any faster than that and fix every little clam that you might have. Make sure it's locked in. Now, his chops are good enough. He knows what it feels like when it's, when it's right. Okay? Go back and fix it if it's not right. Spit buzz. Take it even slower if you have to. A week, 10 days not from now. He's just going to be not even thinking about it. Literally not even thinking about it. Muscle memory. Okay? Now, all you... High school, college kids taking auditions and all this sort of stuff. Trust me, if they ask for the Hummel. We've all heard Maurice do it, right? But if you take it even a little slower than that, and every note is perfect. Trust me, you're sitting there on a jury, and I have sat on juries, judicating these kids. You discuss it afterward. Geez, he sounded great. A little slow, but man, he sounded great. Those articulate, wonderful, in tune, beautiful tone. As opposed to trying to plow through it like Maurice and missing every note, you make a mess of it. Guys, but after a while, trust me, you will have the muscle memory, to play it like Maurice. Now, I know for a fact, three to five hours a day, 
every single day from the Paris Conservatory right up through his professional career. He lived to play Arbin characteristic studies. And I'm telling you, you know he can zip through them faster than speed of light. But what was he doing? That's the way he was practicing. Keep it in the happy zone. Spit buzz when you have to. When you feel yourself crashing, put it down. When you get in the middle of a phrase and you feel yourself crashing, you must stop. The endurance thing we talked about, stop, spit, buzz, reset, it will come. You must practice correctly. And practice slow to perform fast. All right? All right? Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. God bless you all. Love you all. You guys are the best.